In this video you will get a short overview on the German divisions at the outbreak of the Second World War, namely the infantry, motorized and panzer division layouts. Additionally, there will be an overview on the distribution of these divisions for the invasion of Poland, Battle of France and Operation Barbarossa, to give you an idea of the overall composition of the German field army. Now the following numbers are for the divisions at the outbreak of the war in 1939. These numbers, especially for the panzer divisions, changed significantly. Also the numbers are rounded, but the exact numbers are displayed on the screen. Let's take a look at an infantry division of the first wave, or Erste Welle, which were the most mobile German infantry divisions, a motorized infantry division and a panzer division. In terms of total personnel, the infantry division had almost 18,000 men, the motorized 16,000 men and the panzer division 12,000. For transportation, the infantry division had 4,800 horses and 900 horse-drawn vehicles, whereas the motorized and panzer divisions had none. Yet the amount of passenger cars was 400, 1,000 and around 600. Additionally, the infantry division had only 600 trucks, whereas the motorized division had almost three times as much with 1,700 trucks, and the panzer division almost two times that number with 1,400. For motorcycles, the disparity was similar with 500 in the infantry division, 1,300 in the motorized and a bit less than 1,300 in the panzer division. The amount of armored recon cars was 3 for the infantry division, 30 in the motorized and 100 in the panzer divisions, which also had 320 tanks, whereas the other two divisions had zero tanks. Note that the weaponry of the tanks and recon cars is not included in the following numbers. The infantry division had around 520 machine guns, the motorized 500 and 230 for the panzer division. In terms of mortars and infantry guns, the distribution was similar with 150, 140 and 50 mortars and 26, 24 and 8 infantry guns. For anti-tank combat, the infantry division had 75 anti-tank guns, the motorized 72 and the panzer division 48. For artillery, the infantry division had 48, as did the motorized division, and 28 for the panzer division. In terms of anti-aircraft guns, all three divisions had 12 light anti-aircraft guns. Now to give you a better understanding on the bigger picture, let's take a short look at the number of divisions in the Wehrmacht during the invasion of Poland, the Battle of France and Operation Barbarossa. Note that cavalry, mountain, security and other divisions are not listed. During the invasion of Poland, the Wehrmacht had six panzer divisions, one panzer detachment, which was about half the size of a panzer division at the time, four motorized infantry divisions, four semi-motorized divisions, that were called light divisions, and 37 infantry divisions. Additionally, 43 infantry divisions on the West Front. Which brings us to the Battle of France. Here the German army consists of 10 tank and six motorized divisions. Yet the brunt of the forces was still 61 infantry divisions that were fully operational and another 66 divisions that were not fully operational. Now for Operation Barbarossa the panzer divisions had a quite different setup. The number of tanks for each division was severely reduced in contrast to the 1939 setup. Now the number of divisions was 21 panzer divisions, 30 motorized infantry divisions, 3 motorized brigades and 95 infantry divisions suited for all operations and another 62 infantry divisions in the various lower states of combat effectiveness. As you can see, the brunt of the forces of the German army consisted of infantry divisions that used horse-drawn equipment and moved mostly on foot. Thus the German military historian Karl-Heinz Frieser coined the analogy of a spear, an iron head consisting of the elite panzer and motorized units that was supported by a wooden shaft consisting of the infantry divisions. Now to round this up, for Operation Barbarossa, the German army assembled about 600,000 motor vehicles and 625,000 horses. Thus it had more horses than trucks in summer 1941, when it was in its prime. So in that regard, the Wehrmacht fielded probably one of the most effective armies with horse-drawn equipment ever seen before Rainbow Dash was even a thing. Thank you for watching, if you like what you saw consider subscribing, following me on Twitter, Facebook or even donating to the course so I can buy more books and visit museums regularly. Also if you want to take a closer look at other German units I recommend these two videos to you. Enjoy them and see you next time.